shot in Ireland, doing production in Ireland, and then taking advantage of the UK post tax credit. Uh, I took a number of trips over to the UK to, to in support of Section 40, 42. Back in the day, I don't even know the, the new tax credit f format for the sales leaseback, but um, the stories are great. The storytellers are great. The filmmakers are great. They're incredibly professional. Um, and it's very easy for American companies to work there because of the similarities in style. Uh, to, to digress, there, I think there's sort of two versions of movies that I've done in the UK. One is a big Hollywood production that goes to the UK, um, King Arthur or Reign of Fire or a movie like that, uh, uh, Count of Monte Cristo, where you take a big movie, you go in, you do it in the American style, and you're taking advantage of the tax credit, but you're really just uh, Prince of Persia. We're just using the location and the tax credit and the crew. There's another version, um, which we did an experiment with that was sort of uh, Joe Roth's brainchild back uh, in the early 2000s when he was still head of Disney, where they had just come out with Billy Elliot and Waking Ned Divine and a number of those movies, and they were these $5 million high concept comedies that sold all over the world, and Joe was like, well, let's go make a $5 million high concept comedy and then plug it into our system. The, the scale was so inexpensive that we could afford to take a number of shots. So uh, working with Daniel Batsik and Kristen Jones, we opened an office in, in Hammersmith, London, and produced four, four or five movies, including Calendar Girls and Kinky Boots, were our two most successful movies, that we made uh, in the UK style, where we went and we did them as UK productions. So the slates were different, the accounting procedures were different, the legal structures were different. Um, and we deferred to the English way of working. We used local UPMs and, and line producers. And, um, and that was a great experience because those systems evolved not because they didn't know what they were doing, it's because they were perfectly adapted to where they were doing it.